Ecolon reached out to me about two years ago before COVID. They were like, hey, well, I want you to use our um, top dressing machine. And I was like, heck yeah, I'll try that top dresser. I've long been looking for a top dresser to top dress my lawn. You guys have seen several videos that I've done top dressing the lawn over the years. That's how I get the lawn so flat and smooth. And I've done it the hard way by just making piles. And then Eco Lawn saw my video and they're like, hey, I wanna send you this top dresser so you can use it. And this guy's over here, his name's Preston. He's going to drop off this machine right here. It's from Eco Lawn. I don't have the sand today, but I'm gonna top dress the lawn here pretty soon. Okay, so what we got here, it looks to me like this is the Eco 250 series top dresser. This here is Preston, right? Yep. He's with Coates, uh -huh. right? Yep. He's with Coates. They're a local distributor for Eco Lawn. Eco Lawn, right? Yep. They distribute the Eco Lawn top dressers. And I just want you to take a few minutes and tell me about the machine, how it works, why it works, what it does, what it does not do. Those kind of things. So this is the Eco 250, as you'd mentioned. This one is the sand specialist. So it has a different belt that's designed for the sand. So it has a, a bit more of a, a grit to it. So it'll pull it past, but it's still gonna, the chute is intended to keep the sand in when you're, you, you have the door closed. So these two bars here are to keep some of the weight off of the belt. Because sand, as you know, when it gets wet, it gets really heavy. So you wanna keep some of the weight off the belt. So the belt, through. Can this thing do compost the same? Yes. Yep. It can very well do compost. There's just a different belt that has a, a different shape to it, kind of a crescent moon to help bring other materials. But this is going to do compost just fine. And this will hold a third of a yard. When you dump it in, you can dump it in with a skid steer or shovel load, however you want to do it. They just want you to feather it in so that it's not a clump. Ha yeah, it's super it heavy. In. All your controls are up here at the hand now. You just turn it to the on position. Like any Honda engine, you just turn it to choke and pull start it. The throttle right here. This is your door opening. You can offer. Yep. Most of the time when I've been doing compost, you have it fully open. With sand, you're gonna to want to control it based on the moisture of the sand. Probably easier to hear me over that. Yeah, what's that lever do? This one is to engage your belt and your auger. Oh, okay. So if you were transporting, you would just drive it by pulling this down mm -hmm. and that's gonna drive you to wherever you need to go. Okay. Once you uh, want to spread, you're gonna pull your auger engagement and then open your door and then drive and forward. Then, and then drive. Yep. And that's Seems spread pretty simple. All your material, super simple. So everything is ground driven. So this engine is driving you forward. Once you engage this, it's by the ground driven momentum going to change the auger and the mm -hmm. propeller speed according to your speed going forward. So the further you push this down, the faster you're gonna go, the further you're going to spread because of the speed of those spinners is going to speed up. Okay. If you slow down by just engaging this slightly, your spread width is going to narrow. So if you were doing a park strip, you would just go slow. Yes. It's going to spread in that three to four feet. If you want to do 16 feet at a time, you're going to go fast and it'll go through the material super fast. So I don't have any of the sand yet. So we're going to try to spread some of this compost that I've got back here in the back. I don't want to put it on the lawn because for obvious reasons, my compost is not sifted, but this is just a pile that I've been using for uh, adding to for several years, two or three years. And we're gonna put some compost in there and I'm gonna try spreading it back on this back lot that I've got back here. Normally I would take this and sift it all out before I put it in my beds, but I wanna try this with this rough chop or whatever and see how this machine performs just here in the back. I'm gonna make him do the work. Yeah, put me to work. Is there anything you don't wanna put in here? Rocks are kinda of hard on it. We've got some people spread, you know, like pea gravel, or they'll do some prep for um, pavers. Oh. They'll do sand to be able to- Road base? Yeah, road base, those kinds of things. It'll go through it. It's just harder on the fins and things because it the wears out the rocks rather than soils. But we have some companies that'll use them in the winter to spread uh, salts oh. in parking lots. So it holds, what do you say, a third of a yard? Third of a yard. 
I wouldn't dare put that stuff on my lawn right now, folks. She's not cleaned up. The lawn's nice, but I don't want to put all this crap on there because it's not sifted. I would consider putting that on there for sure after aeration. And I do plan to aerate and then spread my sand. Okay, nice Honda engine. Always starts up the first pull. Turn up the throttle. I am thoroughly impressed that a uh, little bit getting used to maybe one load and then I'll figure it out. But that's quite the machine there. Where can somebody buy one of these if they want to buy one? Uh, you can obviously reach out through a local distributor, but go to uh, equalonapplicator.com and just fill out a, a request form and they'll let you know who your local dealer is. Are they easy to get? Yeah. They're readily really available? Readily available. That's gonna be really nice uh, to get my lawn top dressed with this. And I just wanna thank Eco Lawn for sending it here. I'm gonna use it for my lawn. I'm gonna use it for a couple of my neighbor's lawns and some friends and family. I'm gonna use compost on their lawns, sand on my lawn, and then we'll try to uh, see the difference between their lawn before and their lawn after. Might take a couple of rounds of using compost, but you'd want to aerate first and then put your top dressing down, your compost, and your lawn will, will and can be amazing. Adding organic material to your lawn is always a good thing, and this is the perfect machine to do it. Do you have any recommendations for me or any advice? No, I just... Keep it full. You're gonna go through a ton of material with this. So it's just a matter of keeping this full. So it's always easier to load with the tractor, a mini skid, something that way, but um, nope, either way, it's gonna spread any material you throw in it. So. It'll be nice to be able to uh, spread the sand out more evenly. That's the thing I've struggled with the most, is not being able to have the sand spread out evenly. I've always done it with my Gorilla Cart, which works fine, but then I've had to come later or after with a rake and with my drag to drag it in to make it all flat and smooth and nice like you see over there. So I've spent years and years top dressing, probably top dressed my lawn three or four times. And this will be the first time I will have used a top dresser. So I plan to do that in about a week from now. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. So I just wanna thank uh, Preston for coming over, bringing the machine, doing Eco Lawn's dirty work for them. <laughs> Happy to do it. But look, he's got the Eco Lawn shirt. So that means he works right directly with them. He's happy to help and to work with us. Anyways, I wanna thank you for coming out and uh, thank you to Ecolon. All right, so is there anything that I need to know about the safety of this machine? PPP, PPE and anything about safety? As far as safety goes, as long as the machine's off when you leave that handle, so when you're loading it or Otherwise, as long as you're away from the front end, you should be just safe and fine. There's nothing moving uh, once, you know, the machine's off. Mm -hmm. But obviously they recommend you load it when it's off, but most are just loading so fast and you have another machine that's loading it. As long as you're not around the front end, it's not gonna come forward on you. These spinners are out of the way. You're not sticking your hand in the auger because it's not moving forward. Mm -hmm. but, that's the main thing. So safety glasses, pants, um, all that stuff. I don't want anybody getting hurt, so we've got to follow all precautions that wants us to follow. You want to wear your safety gear, okay? Eye protection. Eye protection. Long pants. Long pants. Long, pants. Long, pants. long sleeves. Long sleeves. Just got to be a little bit smart in the way you run equipment. This is just like anything else. It does have a belt. It does have this drive mechanism it's just really like anything else i wouldn't say it's quite like a mower but you know you want to try to be careful around these types of machines and don't put your hand in moving components yeah really uh, don't be a don't be an idiot <laughs> seriously so that's it i want to thank you guys for watching and i'm going to go get the safety manual and the owner's manual and read that 
and then I will get back with you guys and let you know how that goes.